for coming today. We are working with you, not just for you. So for the whole community here, actually for Party Brown NHS, not only here, but all through the small villages and towns of Gloucestershire, because it affects all those, those people. Um, so, I, uh, but I didn't say who I was, I was John Maldrum, the Stroud Mayor, and our council, our town council, is 100% behind me, so I can stand here with pride. can still be working for the NHS. Thank you. But we're only on the first hurdle of the whole, the whole judicial review. And that's a serious thing to, to say about that, really. But we got through, we didn't have to do an injunction at High Court. They just said, we will bring some more evidence. So, we don't know when the uh, NHS will take over, or the uh, new company will take over, hopefully never, but the, the, the whole process will take quite a time. We still have to fight for it. Our solicitors have told us that we stand a good chance of winning. <laughs> Already there's a judicial review against the library, the goes into the libraries in this Gloucestershire, yes? Let me say here and now that Stroud has a long history of campaigning and resisting. Uh, we fought the post offices at Uptons, we won it, we had, yes? We, we, uh, we uh, stopped the trees being cut down and said, stop the park, all of that in the history of time, we actually stopped half the high street being demolished. Yeah. And, and finally, um, we actually stopped the ring road yeah. going through Stroud itself. So we've got a good fighting touch. Uh, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying this is Benghazi, but let's work on it. Yeah. Let's, let's rid ourselves of a sort of certain coalition so we actually have the NHS. Now, my news agent, who's a wonderful woman, and she treats me well, she said, don't forget to mention, and she said this, and I think you need to take this to heart, it wasn't only this government, but tragically, it was Mr Blair's government who actually started the whole process of privatisation. He's next to you, John. <laughs> and Margaret Thatcher! Yes! <laughs> I think what I'm, doing, what I'm saying is two things. One, very few of you knew actually that there was a change. I've mean, four people are knowing me. They are very late in the day. But I think probably 85% of the, of the community of Gloucestershire do not know it's actually happening. This will awaken them first. Well, I'm actually going to say in a second, and I will, I'm the, I will finish the whole debate, and I will speak at the end of the debate, of the discussion, the speeches. What I'm going to say is that if we, if we, did, this, um, if we did this judicial review ourselves, funding the judicial review, it would cost £75,000 to £100,000. Now, I know you're not all rich, are you? No, no. Um, but under a system where someone can actually, who claims benefits, can actually put themselves forward and say that they don't want this and make a case for it, um, they can actually get legal aid. I'm now going to introduce you to the gentleman 
who actually put that forward and said he doesn't want the NHS to start, he doesn't want the NHS to close in Stroud. It's a certain Michael Lloyd. He's a young man and he's built all his life. Over to you, Michael, to say why you feel that the NHS should close. Uh, what it is that has caused me to come along 